saved by Grimes to Fontecchio. Knocked away. Hardenstein picks it up. Out to DiVincenzo. Ten seconds to go. He throws it away. Ball loose. Picked up by Brunson. Brunson inside the heart. Hearts banks it in. And a foul. Knicks take the lead. Monty Williams. One Monty Williams was not too happy about this last call here, which saw Josh Hart get the game-winning, game-sealing layup because he's complaining that the big ragu took a sore Thompson out by the legs, which ended up getting Brunson the ball to get to mm. Hart. I'm, I'm pausing it here. This was at the eight-second mark where ragu kind of dives into the legs here, diving for the loose ball. Do you say, is it a bang-bang play? Was it dirty? Should a foul have been called here? I don't think in the midst of a scrum, you know, does a SAR, does he have full possession here? Is this a loose ball? It's one of those crunch time bang bang plays, man. What do you think? What do you guys I mean, think of the chat? Is, this is more of a basketball attempt, at least, because he has the ball, right? Yeah. This isn't Duncan Robinson on his back. Just trying to grab somebody that's passing by. That's not, you know, this is to me at least. He's trying to make a basketball play. It's not clean. You could argue that it was a foul, but yeah, I don't know, man. This is this is more of that gray area than some other calls that we've seen. Especially, yeah. uh, how about the Houston? Look, man, give us a call back. I mean, yeah. you, you took us you owe you took us the game one. For, for the Houston Rockets. So yeah, give us something in return. All right, so speaking of which, let's hear from the crybaby coach of the Detroit Pistons. It is the Detroit Pistons, man. What are you guys playing for? Come on now. Let's hear from this guy. They're playing for development. Let's hear from this guy. Oh, he was tight tonight. Let's hear from him, man. See what he had to say. This is courtesy of uh, Bally Sports. Here is uh, Monty uh, the crybaby. Here we go. Where's the New York media now? Mm. The absolute worst call of the season. No call. And enough's enough. We've, we've done it the right way. <clears throat> we've called the league. We've sent in clips. We're sick of hearing the same stuff over and over again. We had a chance to win the game, <clears throat> and the guy dove into Asar's legs, and there was a no call. That, that's an abomination. You cannot miss that in an NBA game, period. And I'm tired of talking about it. I'm tired of our guys asking me, what more can we do, coach? That situation is exhibit A to what we've been dealing with all season long, and enough's enough. That was not the worst <laughs> call of the season. Yeah. Stop it. That was not what the worst you... call of the season, buddy. Monty, 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 what are you What are you guys playing for? The ninth <laughs> win? You're, you guys are playing for the ninth win, so that way you're not the worst team in the NBA that we've seen in, in God knows week uh, history? Please, relax over there. Get this Stop guy out of here, man. The richest coach in the NBA. It's a bang-bang play, I mean, I man. Did, honestly, I'll say this. I'll say this. Out of all of that from Monty, I don't know if he's actually being serious. I hope he's not being serious. I hope this is more of him trying to, you know, earn the trust of his team and say, look, I'm going to go out here and bat for you because we had a good close game, and I, I see that you guys are working hard to being a better team than we were at the beginning of the season. And that's why he's doing it. Other than that, if you actually believe this is the worst call of the season, please go please. back, watch the ending. Please go back and watch the ending yeah. of the Knicks and Rockets game and then go tell me that it is the worst call of the of this regular NBA season. For so, the love of God, Somebody please. show him the tape from the Houston game. Somebody show him the tape from the Houston game, please. But, yeah, that was uh, – look, uh, it was one of those things, man, you know? Knicks went through it. You got to go through it, buddy. <laughs> I mean, well, what more can you say? Knicks had to take their no, arms on it. So do you. Crew chief James Williams says in pool interview with AP's Brian C. Mahoney that Dante DiVincenzo should have been called for a foul on Asura Thompson's collision late in NYK's win over Detroit. He says that the ball is loose, players... On um, both teams will have equal opportunity to get it. It becomes a matter of who gets it first. 
we determined that Asor Thompson gets his left hand to the ball prior to DiVincenzo's hand getting to it. So basically they're saying that, uh, that Dante should have been called for the foul. Womp, womp, womp. All right? So there that is. 